So, do you remember anything about recycled reactors now? The expression which we have derived, of course, there are a lot of discussion and then also I think I could clear as much as possible the doubts. You still have some doubts? Or I know you would have not put your brain at all on this, because I think focus is only till uh, fifth chapter, no single reactors. So, multiple reactors, this, even though this is a single reactor. Okay. So, the expression what we got uh, finally, was that uh, V by F naught equal to R plus 1 integral uh, x a 1 equal to R by R plus 1 x a f. This is x a f d x a by minus r a. So, this is the derivation uh, design expression for the cycle reactor. Okay? Good and uh, you should start doing that you know those people i don't know whether all of you have done well in the examination and in spite of uh, solving problems if you have not still got the correct answers or uh, not able to do all the problems means that i think still it requires more uh, training more practice okay so this mental uh, solving again i am repeating please don't do that mental solving means you know so looking at the problem reading or uh, so, what is given in the problem? Only volume. So, you try to find out whether conversion is given, F A naught is given, rate is given, oh, everything is given, I can calculate. So, you cannot say that you know you have solved that problem. Unless you put on the paper, uh, definitely you cannot solve a problem, particularly in engineering that is true, because specific answers, specific type of uh, you know the uh, procedures, all that is also required. This is a training for you, I say, to go to industry and also solve their problems. It is not just to get the degree or just to get the you know every time an examination passed not that ultimate aim is that this training goes to industry where you should be able to design a reactor or, or a distillation column or whatever equipment without any mistakes okay so that's why even this one still you will have lots of doubts right and i'm sure you would have never uh, discussed about this with yourself okay so, again you know you will postpone all this till next uh, examination, that is the problem. We use the recycle reactor when the mixing is required between P F R and M F R. Ah. But when I look at the set, it looks like P F R to me. Why do we say it? Yeah, where is P F R there? Just for example, that we use a, this we use a P F R. Yeah, we are using P F R. And, uh, and then we recycle it. Ah, recycling. It is only a P F R. How can you use it? Ah, there is so no axial no mixing, ideal P F R only. Ideal PFR, but uh, why do you say it is PFR? Just for example, if you take a PFR. It is a PFR, but with the recycle means you know what is the concentration that is entering? Where is this lower limit for PFR? Zero. Zero. Where was this equation in the PFR? It was not there. Uh, why? Because we are recycling a bottle, but then we can. That is the difference. That is why it is a recycle reactor. How can you say that it is PFR? No, no, sir, but you said that. Uh, Recycle that is used when mixing is required between. PFR yeah, this is what is mixing. It is you, you take the product inside and then you know all the product whatever happened that one again you are recycling back and then you are putting along with the fresh feed. It is not outside. You know it is once the fresh feed comes then only it joins. Okay, so these two are mixing and then entering. So, that means, when the stream is entering the plug flow reactor, you have products as well as reactants. Is it there in the other thing, in the, in the plug flow? It is not there. Okay. So, that is why and intermediate mixing will come, because depending on R. Okay. Yeah. I also told you, again uh, unless I give in the examination enough, you may not uh, care about this. I can give uh, some derivation as a separate test also, that show me that as R tends to infinity, it is a mixing flow reactor and R tends to 0, it is plug flow reactor. Okay. That is a beautiful problem. You have to use wonderful concepts, otherwise you cannot solve that equation. So, that is why you can definitely have the uh, mixing between CSTR and MFR. When R equal to infinity, we can show that this is equal to exactly V by F A naught equal to X A by minus R A. You will get that. Beautifully, you will get that. And r equal to 0, we know clearly I think you know the straight forward you can get that integral expression. So, that is why happily one can get and anywhere in between depending on the r. Okay, that is why it is a plug flow element, but I am now trying to take some of the product and put it there in the beginning. 
then the rate that is entering is not 0. In the normal plug flow reactor, the rate that is entering is 0, even there is nothing. So, mixing comes, that means this rate should happen because already some kind of reaction there, right? Yeah. So, that is the reason. That is the reason why it is called a recycle reactor, even though as you said correctly, it is ideal PFR element with products mixing there. And when you add products, then temperatures will not be there. That means, you will control the rate. Rate of reaction will not be very high. So, temperature control is important means you can use that. And uh, when you come to multiple reactions, I will show you when you are also uh, should be able to use uh, recycle reactor. Okay, under some conditions, you need intermediate mixing. It is not always uh, somewhere between uh, the extremes. It is not always the extremes. Somewhere in between also you have to use it. Okay, particularly for multiple reactions. So, that also I will just uh, show that one to you. Okay. So, now this one graphically, how do we plot this? I think it is not that easy for you to imagine this, but let me try and uh, with uh, a little bit of clarity in the mind, it is not difficult also to understand this. Uh, normally, we are plotting because in this element you see here in the integration, you have only 1 by minus R A versus X A. So, that one. Okay. So, normal uh, reactions, we may say something like this you know rate 1 by 1 by minus R A versus X A. Then I will have here, this is my final uh, conversion X A F. Yeah. So, now what area I have to take here? If it is only R equal to 0, what is the area you take? Area under the curve. Okay, area under the curve. If I have V by F A naught equal to X A by minus R A, that is for ideal plug flow, then I take this entire thing, okay. but now it is not that, it is somewhere in between those two. Correct, no? The, the two extremes we can easily imagine because already you have done, but this is mixing, uh, you know this recycle reactor creates some kind of uh, the products and the reactants mixing together and then entering. So, definitely you will have a value less than mixed flow and of course, greater than plug flow because there is this element coming. Okay, this, this and then this lower limit coming. So, now let me identify this one as uh, only this part. That means, I can split this equation into two r into this integral plus 1 into this one. So, that 1 is here, this is x a 1. Okay. So, because this is 1 into simple this one, this is the lower limit. So, this is the area which I have to take. That I understood, no? So, this V by F A naught, I will, uh, if I split this equation as R into this plus 1 into this. Oh, okay, let me write. R into this integral plus 1 into this integral. Okay. This is okay. Uh, so, this is what first I plotted, because this one starting from x 1 to x a f, but only this part, because r is before here, this one. So, now what I do is, we will uh, take the equal areas, that means I will just make this one as a rectangle, not exactly like here, slightly above, because this area and this area so, like our uh, normal uh, way of finding out uh, area under the curve, okay? easily make rectangles and count the rectangles, so that this width and height if I know what is the area I can calculate. Okay. So, now this is the one, the other one, uh, yeah, this is one, okay. this is one <coughs> and the other one must be R this is this integral, r times this. So, now how do I get that? I have to, so this is the total area. So, what we are trying to do is, you know, anyway by drawing this, what we are trying to do is that we are averaging the rate, correct no? Here I have one rate, here I have one rate, 1 by minus r a, 1 by minus r a. So, now somewhere in between averaging by taking this uh, area, this area, right. So, this is the average rate, right. 
So, now the total area graphically if I do then this is the area which you have to take for V by F A naught. So, now you see again I split this equation. So, I have one time this integral that I know the other one must be r times of that. right? So, this one alone I take and then I will average and make a rectangle and this must be r times of because this area you know, I think it is not difficult. If you are able to really catch the point, but a catching point is important, okay, it is not difficult. The reason is that you know I have taken this area separately only with this component and then made it as a rectangle. Okay. The other component is how much of that? Because it is the same r times of that, but you can also prove it beautifully. I just leave it to you again. You can also prove with equations. So, that means here from here to here, I have r times this 1 by r a average. Here at this point, I have minus 1 by r a average at this point, right? Because it is not the actual rate here, actual rate here, it is the average rate I have taken in between. Right? I mean that is why I am able to take the uh, rectangle area by simplifying that this area and this area is equal. So, now we will get an 1 by minus r a average. Right? So, mathematics cannot go wrong and this one now says that the other thing must be r times of this area. Now, prove that you see this is only graph. You can also prove that using that equation uh, using this graph and then you can say that means this area plus this area must be equal to x a f correct. No, this is 1 by minus average into x a f total area total area equal to uh, x a f by minus 1 by average or otherwise if you are getting confused with that first I write x f all L k g average. This is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. Okay. Otherwise, if I write x by f in this one, uh, you may get uh, confused again. This one. Why do we go above that? Why do you go above that? Yeah, where is the rectangle? How can I make that rectangle? If I make this one as rectangle, so, then what happens all this area? That this, this part of the integral, uh, maybe again I think probably I have to write. So, this one x a 1 x a f d x a by minus r a plus x a 1 x a f d x a by minus r a. Okay? So, what is this? Huh? that is this. If I do not take this, this is the entire area. That is the entire area. So, for me it is easier to have this average rate and then extend further. Because once I average this rate, the other one must be r times of, as you said if I leave it, how do I average? I mean, how do I say that what area I have to take? Uh -huh. What is this? Thing? It is not that, it is not a CSTR separate. No, you cannot simplify things. No, if I draw here only one line, then that represents that that is separate CSTR, which is not CSTR. I mean, we very CSTR there. So, the combination of CSTR, some kind of mixing, combination of uh, mixed flow reactor, both together is there in this area. Okay? So, that is the reason why this, if you understand, this must be R times of this. Now, what we have to do, the thing what I am uh, uh, trying to tell you to solve is. See, I am giving you these kind of problems only to make you think in your room and uh, rich people are getting richer and richer, poor people are getting poorer and poorer, poorer. I think two extremes we are having now, plug flow, mixed flow. Okay. One is most inefficient, another one is yeah, very, very uh, efficient, that way only I am telling. Okay. This gap is increasing, we need something like recycle reactor, because <laughs> right amount of mixing where everyone has equal wealth, correct no? Yeah. I think I mean, equal wealth means I am not telling that you know you share the wealth, at least food you share, that is all. So, this is what is the general one, I think this is understood now and you can now prove beautifully that the total area is sum of this area plus this area. 
you have to take only the rectangles. This area you first take and you know the limits, what is the area, it is a, it is a graphical thing, it is a uh, figure. So, then this must be r times of that, add those two and show that this is x a f by or x a f into 1 by minus r a average, the average is this, that is the average. Why is that r times? Yeah, this one. <coughs> yeah, how that, that is r times? That equation that's itself. Equation. Right? In this equation itself, it is there, this is r plus 1 into integral of this entire thing. I just split it that into r times of this plus 1 time of that. That comes from the equation itself, no? From the basic expression itself in the derivation, that equation comes. You, you are there on that day, you think you are there. Yeah, the equation is r plus 1, equation is correct, no? Ah, yeah, which one? One unit, x a 1, x a f in the graph. graph. Yeah, x a 1, in the graph. Ah, x a 1 to x a that you have made it identical, one, one unit. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. I am just plotting only this. Yes, yes, yes. I See, area under the curve between x a 1 and x a. Because my, my area, simple calculus, no? Simple calculus, okay. I think that area cannot. Yeah, you see, like this you have. And when I ask you to calculate what is this area, how do you calculate if it is x 1 and x 2? One thing is to find out all this, that is okay, area and total area under the curve. Another easiest thing is make this, so this area equal to this area, so this height multiplied by this width, this is x 1 and x 2, x 2 minus x 1 into this height y. So, the, the, the area is y into, because we are starting with 0, so y into x 2 minus x 1. And the other one is, <coughs> r times of simply this, uh, if I take this one as some kind of alpha, this is r time alpha area. This is alpha, hmm. and I accept that, how, this is r plus alpha, but how do you know that is r? Ah, that I was asking also. Yeah. Okay, that is what I am asking you to prove. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I am asking you, because you know, uh, in this case, this is the total equation, V by F A naught. Okay, Abhishek, this is the total equation, right? V by F A naught. Now, I have this part as simply one time of uh, this area, right. So, this overall thing should be, because it is starting from 0, x also starting from 0, that is what this equation tells. Because, when you take the overall uh, mixed flow reactor, in the beginning you have, you do not have conversion, it is 0. Only at the time of entering, because of the stream coming back, you have a different x 1, that is x a 1, right. So, that is why the coordinates are from 0 to x a f, right. So, now the total area, uh, when I take this this as one uh, unit, uh, that, that is yeah, but this is, one. I, I mean, it will be r times. definitely. Uh, then r equal to x a by x a I mean, you see, this equation, <laughs> this equation automatically tells, if I know this area, automatically this must be r times of that, which is the total area, because x equal to 0 onwards, it is starting, okay. So, that is the one, Abhishek. Yeah, <laughs> you do not have a choice. Okay, that's <laughs> No, no, I think you should be able to do that also. You do on your own. If you are able to do, I will tell you, okay, later, but you do it. You try to do it. It is not difficult. It is not difficult. Please do not think that it is a difficult concept. Oh my God, very difficult. It is not very difficult at all, because we do not know how to use our calculus properly. That is all. Very simple things. You know, integral y dx, I know. The moment I put um, our normal uh, plug flow equation as dx a by minus r a, we think that it is totally different. That is simple calculus area under the curve. That is the reason many students also are not able to answer, why should I take total rectangle for mixed flow reactor. Plug flow reactor some people tell, you know I am talking about single mixed flow reactor, why should we take that rect rectangle. I can tell you, no, now you know, but I know, or you may be knowing even some of you earlier. But my experience with many students is that they do not know why you are the, they are taking. It is simply nothing but that is x, this is y. But the x is, I mean y is not y, y is 1 by minus r a. That is all, that is so simple, that is the area of a rectangle, x, y. But y is written in terms of 1 by minus r a. The moment we say that, that is a problem for us. D c a, if I give d c a by d t equal to some right side some c and then ask you to integrate, you will have a lot of difficulty. Oh my God, what is this? It is totally new. 
but if I convert that exactly same thing as dy by dx equal to x, you will easily do it. Because beyond our schooling, we are not learning anything new. Okay? And the dy by dx, it is told that that y can be anything, x can be anything. That is what is also here. Here, of course, x is x a and y is 1 by minus r a. That is all what we have there. And we will say always x and y because those are the general variables, it can be extended to anything. And our mind is always compartmentalized. Okay. Okay, x means x, y means y and I cannot use anywhere else. If C A comes and T comes, I do not know how to use it. And I am not teaching anything else extra uh, except that you know simple calculus where this area under the curve I have, I have uh, uh, simplified as a rectangle instead of this shape. Now, this equation if you believe that it is correct, that is correct only what we have written material balance and all that. Okay. So, then this total area must be R times of this, then only I will get total area this one that is x a f into 1 by minus r a must be equal to this area plus this area. Okay? I know this area, this 1 by minus average into x a f minus x a 1. And what is this area 1 by minus r a average into, uh, yeah, uh, into 0 to x a 1, simply x a 1 and that too r times of that. You prove that those two will give you this entire thing, that is all. And I tell you, it is LKG problem. Because just graphs only we are drawing and then trying to find out that these two areas must be that area. Okay? Good. Okay. So, now, um, if I have very large, okay, small recycle ratios, okay, small r, what kind of graph I get? This is x a and this is minus r a. Okay. So, like this I have. Okay, Abhishek, how do I draw now? My x f is known to me. Very small recycle ratio. Yeah, somewhere this side. Yeah, why? R is small. Huh? R is small. Ah, R is small means? R by Yeah. Okay, area under the curve, that means r equal to very, very small means r equal to 0 means what? It is plug flow reactor. Total area under the curve, right? Total area. So, now we are saying that I have small r. So, that means it may be slightly something there. So, when typically when r equal to 0, then I will have only small this one and then total area under the curve will be there, right? Okay, good. So, now when I have uh, r is small means you should have somewhere here x a 1. So, this actually this entire thing will be 1 and this will be r that is very small. And now you see I have to do the same thing here I have to you know this is the one small one. So, that means when I am coming here less and less r that means the total area under the curve will be coming almost you know like this here this entire thing. So, yeah, this is for small r, okay, for large r, anyway the other one. So, here what you have to do is that, what you have to imagine is that this entire area under the curve is coming, that means it is moving towards plug flow, area under the curve, this is the extremes, okay, what you are taking. And for large r, again we have this one, this is 1 by minus r a versus x a same thing x a f. Yeah. So, now I do not have to ask you now only this much I will take. Yeah. So, that means of course, here I can also this average now what is happening here? Yeah, this is v by f a naught. Okay, v by f a naught for large r and here v by f a naught for for small r yeah for this small r if you average the thing like that uh, so in that case how will you prove that that small yeah, but where, 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 where do you average that when i am coming towards this so you can uh, oh because i cannot average this no because when I have like this, this is equal to this. No, 
but here itself I have right here. Yeah, so I cannot go above this, no? I'm going above that. Good, that's a good question. Yeah. So now, yeah, I, I can average this. This area. Okay, it will be a rectangle. Fine. Okay. So it is a rectangle, but definitely we are now coming down. Yes, sir. More but, and more. But how will you say that this area is r times that area? R means fractional. Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This area equal to. Yeah, you can prove that again. This area equal to. So the other way way because r is small. Don't think that r is always large. It can be point not one. Okay. Yeah, but who do you think r is? Uh, you know, yeah. what are the limits of r? Okay. Zero to infinity. Zero to infinity. Okay. That is point not not one. Okay. So I think if I move still further, then I have to have much more. You know, it comes like this. It comes like this. Then finally, may come like that. Ah, uh -huh, we can. We have to. We have to. What is? There is no point of. Uh, Why it won't match with the uh, equation? Because uh, if R is uh, very small, then uh, very small. Yeah, it should become a yeah. yeah. See, still there is some R. Okay, so that means still there is some product which is going and mixing in the reactor, right? So you have only the combination of uh, mixed flow as well as plug flow. This is correct. So when you are going further, smaller and smaller and smaller, you go next here. You go next here. You go. Almost till here, so entire thing will come. But then it doesn't become a P of R because. Uh, it doesn't become a P of R. You know this entire area is coming. See, here this this is the area. This is the area. So now this is reducing, 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 and then it goes area under the curve when R equal to truly zero. When R equal to truly zero, and please don't think that R should have always larger values. It can be point zero zero one. Right? That means small amount only. So that is why when you are um, using this, definite, I think very good what you have asked because the, this also should, I should explain. Then it comes less, it comes less. No, what is here when R is large? It is almost like uh, you know total rectangle. But here this rectangle area will be decreasing, decreasing when I go to R equal to zero. Right? When R equal to zero, then uh, still further less means it will come here. Okay, yeah. So like that, slowly it goes to zero. In fact, that also depends on what kind of one by minus area we have and all that. Okay. If I take till this point, if it is only you know same question, I think woman was asking. Yeah, you you asked me, no? Or why 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 do you don't take only area under the car? Why we don't take why why area under the car? Is Avinash is asking why we cannot take only area under the car? Even here also, you could have asked me the same question. Okay. If I take only area under the car, it is simple P of R. Huh? Yeah, but it is not P of R. Which? Ah, uh, see. No, no. I mean, I, I can. How can I take this one as a rectangle afterwards? Because it is not P of R separate. I mean, M of R separate. So when we. See, I think you are imagining that there are two reactors. There are no two reactors. There is only one reactor. He, what he says is, I will take till here uh, the area under the car. From here, I take rectangle. How can I take? I don't have separately a mixed flow reactor, and then afterwards, I don't have separately a plug flow reactor. It is the combination of both. So that is why I have to take only this average rate, and then take the average area where it represents this part. Also, it represents the other part. That means the, these two parts. Why it is distorting? I say. I, first of all, I don't understand why you should distorting. So when R is very small. No, th this is one method where I know I can average this and then make the entire thing as uh, the, the rate, so that this entire thing will give me that equation. Give by F and R. Yeah, and if it is so small, if you are not losing much area, take area under the curve. If it is so small, that means you are only approximating. You are not actually solving the V by F N R. Okay, you are only saying that even if I take this, there may there, there may not be much change in the area. So I am taking that. That's all. Even this, when you are doing this, what you are doing essentially you are taking this entire area. Correct? No. Yeah. Even this entire area only I am taking. Even if I am drawing this, 
correct no so but only thing is instead of taking area under the curve like this i am taking this equal to this and then making as a rectangle so when r is becoming smaller and smaller that comes only area under the curve almost when it is touching zero definitely it is area under the curve that is plug flow reactor and this is mixed flow because this side when you are moving and you know this area is getting smaller and smaller right so in the limit this becomes only one value and that is the total volume that is v by fn r when r equal to infinity that one component is zero that means this is if yeah you can also imagine this in a different way this is plug flow component and this is mixed flow component no don't think that this is mixed flow reactor this is plug flow reactor okay this entire design expression because of intermediate mixing has two components one is r component you know with uh, which represents mixing and one is this component one uh, which represents plug flow when 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 r is very very large then plug flow component becomes very small so that is why area under the curve will be rectangular area yeah okay this entire area rectangular area when r equal to very large correct no yeah when r equal to very small that means this part will become zero uh, very small that's why you know this part is very very small and the rest the other part is the area so, so that's why these two components please remember that equation and that's why you know writing book is very easy you don't have to explain so much because you read and then after if you don't read if you don't understand okay close the book that's all okay but here explaining definitely i will be happy to explain that this entire uh, recycle reactor has two components within one reactor right we have the plug flow component as well as mixed flow component and that is reflecting very easily in this equation when r is larger then plug flow component will be smaller right so what is happening when r is very large you are taking almost all that that is reacted small amount you are taking you know this is another thing where you have to imagine that what do you mean by r equal to infinity this is r so this is f a not this is f a f x a f okay so this is x a not equal to zero so what is the meaning of r a equal to infinity Yes. No, but how do you really maintain that? It is still a reactor. It is a steady state reactor. It's a complete mixing reactor. Yeah, that is you know that is not correct actually. It is not uh, no output. If there is no output, what will happen? I say, if you don't have outlet and then you keep on eating, what will happen? Stomach will uh, burst. Exactly. That is a good answer. It will burst. right no output only input so that is why if i say that r equal to infinity means there is no nothing is coming out but i am putting the, this means how i mean uh, that is not a steady state reactor so that is the reason why i asked that question right meaning is that when i take 1 meter cubed 1 meter cubed contains how many centimeter cube 10 raised to 6 6 10 raised to 6 10 to the power of 6 okay 10 to the power of 6 uh, ml i am recycling and only 1 ml enters here and 1 ml goes out there it is still steady state reactor only 1 ml going out and 1 ml that means now how do i define my recycle ratio ratio to the amount ah uh, amount withdrawn ah uh, ratio of amount withdrawn to Amount yeah, recycled. amount recycled to that of amount. Yeah, amount recycled to that of withdrawal. So I am now 10 to the power of 6 liter. I mean uh, ml. I am recycling back, and then one ml. One ml. I am just putting it. Okay. Then what is happening in the reactor? If you physically look at that, what will be the concentration? What will be the concentration here, 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 everywhere? then if you have concentration throughout the reactor uniform what do you call it mixed flow that you should think i don't have to tell really that is the reason why when you say r equal to infinity means then you will have mixed flow reactor meaning is that it is not that r equal to infinity means everything is taken out and then you are recycling then it keep on because you are feeding anyway nothing is going out and then you keep on uh, recycling what will happen to the reactor burst that's why there is output there is input but the amount of input that is coming is 1 ml and 1 ml per second is coming out or per minute is coming out 
but I am now recycling 10 to the power of 6 ml. That means, one meter cubed of thing is recycled. That means, practically whatever is happening inside is like a mixed flow, where after all the conversion I will take it and again put it back. Conversion take it and steady state, there is only one conversion. Okay. So, that is the reason why everywhere I do not see much change in the conversion. Everywhere throughout we have only one conversion. So, that is nothing but your mixed flow reactor. That is what is r equal to infinity. r equal to 0 is very easy to imagine. right? When r equal to 0, the, the stream is not there at all. So, then even 1 ml is coming out, 1 ml is going out. But there is change between this place to this place and if I plot x a versus z, conversion increases. Okay? This is r equal to 0. When r equal to infinity, how do I plot? x a versus z, that is all constant. So, throughout the reactor, we are talking about reactor, please do not again get confused. We are talking about reactor where this is almost horizontal, because we are taking so much back and then putting it, practically inside there is no reaction in the sense that the small amount is coming mixing and then getting reacted that small portion and then we are recycling back mostly. So, that is why when r equal to infinity, you will get mixed flow because of this reason, because everywhere inside the reactor, I do not find much change in the concentration, temperature and also conversion. When there is no concentration change, conversion also is same throughout. So, that is the reason. Okay, good. So, this is the one and then uh, I hope it is clear now. So, this V by F A naught minus R A, if I have a first order reaction, then what you have to do is for uh, first order, one second, I think V by F A naught equal to R plus 1, ah, yeah, X A 1 I will write, which is nothing but R by R plus 1 X A F, X A F d x a ah, first order on only no volume change epsilon a equal to 0, epsilon a equal to 0. So, what is the equation I have to write here? k into c a naught into 1 minus x a. So, this you have to integrate right? and then substitute the proper limits, do not put 0 to x a f proper limit. So, then what you get here is um, if I write this in terms of k tau for easy writing, k tau equal to r plus 1. <coughs> in terms of conversion, this will be ln 1 plus r into 1 minus x a f divided by uh, r plus 1 into 1 minus x a f. Please remember, uh, 1 plus r into 1, mi 1 minus x a f, this is r plus 1 into 1 minus, yeah. So, like that for second order reversible reactions, all these things you have epsilon change, all that you have. So, that equation can be used equally well for epsilon there, epsilon not there, but only thing is mathematics are complicated. Unless you really solve one or two problems, actual integration you cannot do it in the examination. Okay? Good. I think I will stop here and uh, Levenspiel has very nice uh, derivations and all that in the book. Levenspiel only gave this kind of nice diagrams, they may be confusing, that is why many teachers may not tell you also about this. Okay, huh? No explanation, even Levenspiel there is no explanation, I think you know how much time we have sp uh, spent now, I think hopefully at least for some people it is clear. I do not think everyone uh, have that clarity unless they think and also unless they also discuss with others. You have not followed, still ask me. Okay? Good. Okay, you carry on.